Hello friends! In this episode I want to show you a super useful and affordable tool for DIY car repair and maintenance enthusiasts because I get a lot of questions about diagnostic tools. The folks at King Bowlen recently sent me this product for testing and although I was quite skeptical about its performance, I have to admit that after testing it I was pleasantly surprised. I fast forwarded the unboxing of the product to save time. Installing the app is very easy and guided with step-by-step -step tips, so I will skip that part. I personally use this OBDS car adapter from Launch, which cost around the 300 euros, with the Zone software, for which I pay an annual subscription equivalent to one King Bowlen Elite tester, so I didn't have very high expectations from this product. King Bowlen also assured me that eDiag Elite has no renewal fee, so I could use it forever with one purchase. Not having to pay a subscription like you do with most scanners sounded great, but also made me question how functional it really is. I'll now show you what I could do with it, and at the end I'll give you my honest opinion about this tool. It so happens that a friend had issues with a Volkswagen Tiguan, and what better way to test this tool than to try to solve a real failure. On this car the glow plug warning light in the instrument cluster comes on occasionally and the engine goes into limb mode, but as you probably already know that doesn't point to the exact cause, so we will use this adapter to read the trouble code. First I'll use my adapter and my Diagzone software installed on a regular tablet. I'll go into the ECM module and select read DTC. These are the codes. It seems we have high rail pressure with a difference between the pressure requested by the ECU and the actual pressure. Now I'll use the King Bowlen tester. I'll insert the OBD adapter from the box. I have already installed the app from the Play Store like any app and all we need to do now is activate the product. I've selected one of the functions and I'm already in the activation menu. Here you enter the serial number and activation code, then tap activate. Then you just pair your phone with the device's Bluetooth and enable location. One important thing to mention is that the app requires a permanent internet connection, but I assume almost everyone has mobile data nowadays, or at least Wi-Fi. Now I will scan the vehicle identification number. And it already recognized it's a Volkswagen, so it will download dedicated software. That is why the internet connection is needed. It took about one minute on mobile data before I got to the main menu, but don't worry, that only happens the first time the dedicated software is downloaded. After that the vehicle stays in your diagnostic history and you can go straight into the modules you want. Usually I select the system manually, but this time I'm curious how long it takes to scan all systems. So I'll run a system scan. It took a minute to scan all systems, which is pretty fast, I don't think my tester could do it any quicker. These are all the systems identified and now I'll go into engine electronics. As info for beginners, any engine related faults are stored here. We have a wealth of useful info about both hardware and software for this engine. Now I'll select Read Diagnostic Trouble Code, abbreviated DTC. And it looks like King Bolan found the same errors as my tester did. The search button will do an online lookup for the code and link you directly to articles or videos about it. Every car has its typical faults, so it's great to see what other owners have experienced. Sometimes you'll find a quick fix, other times it involves lots of online research.
I'm going to check now whether I can clear the codes. Looks like it works. I'm sure these codes will come back, so we'll need to do a few more checks. I'm pretty sure we'll also see a problem in the data stream, so I'll test that function as well. I couldn't capture the moment on camera, but there are times when the actual rail pressure exceeds the specified value by even 80 to 90 bars, well over the plus or minus 20 bar limit, so most likely we have an issue with one of the high pressure regulators. Unfortunately, in this case there are many suspects when dealing with this kind of error, so we'll start with the least expensive exclusion. I already checked for metal shavings in the fuel filter and the pump pressure regulator and there are none. On the rail we have both a pressure regulator and a sensor. The regulator is replaced most often, but I found a used rail at a good price, so I replaced the entire assembly. I won't add the part with the replacement procedure, because here we're focusing on the King Boland tester, but you'll find the video on our channel. And now we've reached the essence. After any intervention in the fuel system, or even after a simple fuel filter change, it's important to bleed the system using a tester. Many of you asked if you really need a tester to bleed the fuel system. I believe it's absolutely necessary to avoid damaging the high pressure fuel pump or the injectors. In this vehicle, the fuel filter housing can simply be filled manually with diesel like in this video, which helps with faster startup. However, cartridge type filters like this one cannot be primed manually, so I'm going to show beginners how easy it is with a tester. I'll go to the actuation test. I will select electric fuel pump. And start. That's how you activate the in-tank fuel pump. Ideally, leave it running for about 15 seconds, then you can repeat the process. Now I'll go back, and since this vehicle also has an auxiliary fuel pump, I'll activate that too. The auxiliary fuel pump is located right here in the engine bay, and you can hear it running. Now, you got rid of the air in the fuel lines all the way to the high pressure fuel pump. After changing filters, they're extremely useful, or else the car could start poorly or not at all, and you could damage the high pressure fuel pump, the injectors, or even worse. I'm not exaggerating, having a tester like this can save you thousands of dollars in repair costs. I've started the engine, and so far we don't have any trouble codes. Extremely important to me is also the injector coding function, since it's necessary after changing or reconditioning injectors. For this I need to go to maintenance functions. Then injector coding. I'll select Volkswagen. And I'll enter a new code for injector 1. Procedure was successful, so what can I say, I'm already liking this tool. I'm most curious about one more thing, whether it can retract the spindle in the caliper piston for brake pad replacement in cars with electric parking brake. I'll go again to maintenance, then brake reset, Volkswagen, then I'll deactivate the parking brake as instructed. Now, other models, parking brake, and open rear brake calipers. As you could hear, the spindle retracted and we can proceed with replacing the pads. After replacing the brake pads, all you need to do is select close brake calipers. Yeah. 
I've also tested the King Bolan on Mercedes and it worked just as well. I tried resetting the service interval and it worked. It even told me the oil spec, which I found to be really cool. My tester doesn't have this feature. In conclusion, I have to say that this tester has completely exceeded my expectations. I like how it organizes maintenance functions in a separate menu. That way you don't have to access the vehicle systems for routine functions. It does exactly what it promises and although it's not a professional grade shop tool, it's a very useful DIY diagnostic tool. The price to features ratio is fantastic and I don't have to worry about my subscription expiring since there are no license renewals needed. I haven't yet checked how it works on other brands or explored all its functions. I will probably make a separate video with its cons after I find them. If you want to buy this product on Amazon, I've added an affiliate link in the description. Don't forget to reward the effort I put into this review with a like, comment and maybe even subscribe. It's totally free. Bye bye.